like 106 in Millen, so it is oppressive. We've had a little bit of a breeze. That's helped. Southwest winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. But, you know, even when it's this hot, a breeze can sometimes make it worse. So, uh, by all means, hope you stayed hydrated today. Jimmy of Skyview Camp, Washington Road. It is uh, a ride home that is going to be pretty hot. Notice the hazy conditions, too. We'll talk about that. Hazy, hot, and humid. Satellite view shows relatively quiet conditions. Notice the clouds to the north. That's all part, basically, of a, of a front to the north that may fire off an isolated shower or storm tonight. Not a big wide spread, but I still think there could be an isolated storm. We'll look at future cast right about now, and I'll show you what we're looking at. By 8 o'clock, one or two little showers, maybe a rumble of thunder can pop. That will sag towards the south. As it does so through the nighttime hours, it'll pretty much give up the ghost because there's not a lot of moisture to deal with. But don't be surprised if we see a shower. Don't cancel any plans, but just... Oh, by all means, stay cool because it will be warm. So here's the forecast tonight, 95 by 7 o'clock. Still warm and humid by 11 o'clock. It's still 83 degrees outside. So we're going to keep our alert today going till about 10 o'clock tonight uh, with the heat advisory until 8. Very muggy, very humid outside tonight. The good news is some big changes coming to the forecast as we get into the next week. So we're going to talk about that. And we'll look ahead to the weekend and the possibility of any showers or storms all coming up, Jenny. All right, Tim, thank you. The National Weather Service has put out a heat advisory for both Richmond and Columbia counties. News Channel 6's Ashley Jones spent the day asking people how they planned on beating the heat. She's live now on Flowing Wells Road where construction workers were working throughout the hot day. Ashley. Yeah, Jenny, as Tim has already mentioned, we're experiencing some of the hottest temperatures we felt all year. So we hit the community just to ask some people how they're coping with these high temps. Now, most of us have heard to stay hydrated during the day to keep from suffering from things like heat exhaustion or even worse, heat stroke. But after speaking with some people who actually work out in the sun, we found that the real trick is to drink water and stay hydrated the night before the heat hits. Austin Bachelor is working out here on the um, out here on Flowing Wells Road, helping with some of the construction, and he says he's gotten used to working in these kinds of conditions. I always like a challenge, even in the military. Was, I chose the most physically demanding job I could, and then I got out and I just did it again. So. Now, health experts say if you don't have to go out, then don't. If you do, try and stay in cool and shaded areas. Also, check on your elderly friends and family members. Make sure they're staying hydrated as well. And your pets, those pets that are living outside, try to bring them inside for today until this heat passes over. And if not, just make sure they're getting plenty of fresh water. Live here in Evans, I'm Ashley Jones, WJBF News Channel 6. All right, Ashley, thanks for that report. Turning now to the rise in COVID cases across the country, fueled by the Delta variant. The CDC now says it's more contagious than Ebola or the common cold. It's also possible some vaccinated people may be able to transmit it as easily as those who are unvaccinated. The U.S. recorded its highest daily case number in more than five months on Wednesday, reporting more than 86,000 new cases. That's higher than any single day last summer. The number of COVID patients at local hospitals is going up. Because of that, starting today, Aiken Regional Medical Centers is restricting visitation. Hours are limited from 9 a.m. to 2 to 9 p.m.